Well, you've seen the images of homes and businesses that have significant damage from Nicholas and maybe feeling fortunate that you might have walked away without any issues. Yeah, but not too fast because just because something isn't as obvious as a tree on your home doesn't mean you're out of the woods. That's right. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield joins us live to explain what you can do to really inspect your home. Micah? Eric and Melanie, the main thing is to just do a visual inspection. Walk around your home inside and outside and look to see if there's anything out of the norm. Take a look at your roof, your gutters, your siding, your trees. What you're specifically looking for, well, I spoke to the experts today and they'll let you know what you need to be on the lookout for. The closer you are to the storm, the more likelihood of wind-driven rain being pushed up underneath shingles, flashing, and that sort of thing becomes more of a reality. So take a look outside your house. Touch the siding. Make sure it isn't loose. Trent Barnes with Texas Inspection Services suggests checking your roof. And here's what you're looking for. When you're looking at your roof, you're looking for shadows. There's a little shadow right there. And that's probably the beginning of what we call a nail pop. There's a nail underneath that sh underneath that shingle that has pushed up and caused it to, to cup like this. Barnes so even suggests time, using binoculars to get a closer look because one of those popped shingles can lead to water getting in your house. Check your ceilings and walls for any water spots you didn't have before the storm. And get a flashlight. My best um, tool that I have with all the expensive things that I have is, is my $20 flashlight. And what about your trees? Just because it didn't come down yesterday doesn't mean it's solid, no problems. Lewis Flory, owner of Ability Tree Experts, calls them sleeper trees and says they may come down with a light wind or rainstorm. If the ground is, ri is raised on one side or the other, that's a telltale sign. Another is if, if you just walk around the base of your trees and trees have shifted a lot. A really important piece of information to remember we're talking about looking at your roof make sure that you don't get on your roof yourself that can be very dangerous if you suspect that you have any damage to your roof you should definitely call a professional live in southwest houston micah hatfield abc 13 eyewitness news